Anyways, collaborations, talking of collaborations, are a huge part of your career to date. Um, which one has given you the most satisfaction? Well, I've done a lot of collaborations over the years, for sure. Um, I think um, my John Legend collabs gave me the most good vibrations because um, because I didn't really know who he was when I went into the room with him because I wasn't really into R&B at, at that time. Um, I remember I got a phone call saying um, mm, you're gonna fly to America and work with this guy John Legend. He's really, he's really, it's a big deal. So you're definitely going. And here's the ticket, kind of thing. And I remember just thinking, oh yeah, he's a, he's a soul guy. Okay, okay, I can do that. And I, I didn't really know. Um, and on the plane, I listened to the, his couple of records that he had out, and was like, oh, yeah, nice. And, and, and it was the same for him. His manager had kind of told him, all right, you want to have this new direction on your record, we're going to fly in this English guy that re I really like him. And he was like, never heard of him. And, and oh, don't worry, it'll be fine. So we both hit the room, kind of like, who are you? Um, and so, especially John, he was definitely a bit like, oh, I've got to do this day with you because I'm told to. So what have you got? And we just kind of, it was, it was one of those really cool moments where we actually, after a few hours, we were like, this is actually going to work out, you know, and it, and it really did. We got tons of songs out of our collabs. Two for his, two for mine, 12 Years a Slave, loads of stuff, you know, and, um, and it was just really, really, just really cool. He's, he's a, it's great to work with a hyper-focused megastar. I realised he was a superstar when we left. I said to him, oh, let's go and get a coffee and, uh, you know, let's go to the coffee shop over the road and get a coffee. And he kind of went, all right. And then we went downstairs. And the minute we walked out of the door, it was like, yo, John, beep, beep, taxis, whoa. And it was like, oh, God, dude, you're fucking super famous, man. I, I really didn't realise that. And then I got home and then he played at the, uh, he played at the, like the inauguration of President Obama or something. And it's like, God, dude, you're so famous. But yeah, a really, really cool, I mean, really cool down-to-earth guy, really, really cool guy. I learned a lot from him about um, not, not being so preoccupied about being cool. Uh, like, no, not cool, that's, the, that's, too, that's the wrong word. Just give a little more, just relax a little more, you know. It's just singing well is not showing off, it's just singing well. If it fits the emotion, then do it. And he wrote a bridge for one of my songs. Uh, a song called Maker, which which went up like his songs do. So you get your choruses, you get your verses, and then the bridge is kind of like, nah, even more. And he always does that, and, and I, I never did that because I thought it was a bit cheesy, a bit cliched. But then he wrote he wrote a bridge for me on my song Maker that went there in my version, and it's the best bit of the song, easily the best bit of the song. And I was like, right, I get it. Just it's okay to give more. So yeah, my, my work with John was, is, and hopefully will be really cool in the future. Yeah, he's You're going to work more together soon. Yeah, maybe, man. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, he's very prolific. And, um, and um, his success with all of me, this, this big power ballad, is, is pretty big. So um, yeah, maybe if the, if the diaries, if, 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 he, if, he, if he wants to, if I'm not living on a bus at that point. For sure. <laughs>